Hello my people, how are they? How body how every week? My name is Ipo Bay, Yerobo Bay on Top Pop TV. And uh, this beautiful, lovely day, I did one corner like that where I come meet one amazing person like that. Person we be see, he give us one of the best sounds of 2022. And even till this year, you see get another very interesting sound one that they enjoy. Mm? I don't go let all my cats out of the bag. In fact, I won't just suffer you small. I didn't think I suffer you. No, you know the other. <laughs> I won't think I suffer you. So I can just detail you to make you guess, guess, guess. But here I am sitting down with Taiwo Olo, right? Yes. Popularly known <laughs> as LT Skills. Jibi, 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 just I did my homework. Call me like my mama. I did my homework. Don't you go put the Lord the Thai one and Thai? Why you don't come it? <laughs> thank you, thank you for having us. <laughs> thank you for having us because we are at your very beautiful house and we are very, very honored to be here. My people are there now. Mom, my name is LTO. I just I just come punk me for this show. The mini blessing, everything lost. <laughs> That's a bit the matters. So, you know, take me as I do. No, I will go relate more as everything they be. Sure, <laughs> All right, so well, how you go fit take describe your style of music? Like, kind of music when you did do? How you go take describe? Because right now, Afrobeat, now everybody they yeah, yeah. sing about, they talk about. So, does it fall under the same umbrella? In Afrobeat, I just sing. And the, the thing about Afrobeat, we say it evolve, and we don't evolve to this level. Mm. So, we they experiment more. I they do Afrofusion okay. presently. A lot of people they tag me to I'm a piano. Mm -hmm. I know be I'm a piano at. <laughs> that make I ask you. So you go up us clear the air. Eh. Funny thing <laughs> you say, I they sing R and B. Okay. But industry one, well, you know, <laughs> nah nah. They just say I'm a singer. The first story. You see that Odogu na the spender. You see that, like that one. Odogu do the chop breakfast. <laughs> Show me power. Yeah. Like those kind of song we want to hear. Because one shake body yes, now, your son. But uh, now Afro, uh, Afro um, fusion, fusion, I didn't do mm. for my sound. Okay, that is what. And you just talk about the, I feel say the thing where they have to say most, most people these days don't get time for love anymore. Um, they don't get time for those kind of mushy, mushy um, stuff. I mean, we're going to spend that. We still get, we still get, we get. <laughs> spend your money, it's all worth it. Now you make the song even blue. As soon as you drop that song, girls be like, ah! This is it. <laughs> oh, no, good. That is right. Eh, we never bring the cash. Yeah, uh, uh, hey, that uh, kind of song. Then we like. Why, so why everybody they get their own version for this song? Everybody. This is my, this is my passion. Everybody. I know I'm all, I know the song. Mm. Go. Some people will say, Odogu, Odogu no be spender. Some, 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 some people will say, Odogu money spend. I don't hear. No version I don't hear. Okay, so it will be the correct version. Correct us today. Be well, not, I don't hear Odogu, Odogu Daddy Spender. Ah, Odogu Daddy Spender. I don't spender. hear, not till I never hear. <laughs> but all of them, now still, still fall under the umbrella of say. They know say, now they read them. <laughs> you know, Odogu Daddy Spender. I don't need this show, see. I say, say what? Just for this I hear, Odogu no be Spender. No, so. For this I hear, Odogu Daddy Spender. For this I hear, Odogu Daddy Spender. Ah, say, yes. Which community all of and it's it. As long as they spend that end up. Now this is I do say some people they come from Agigi. Some people, some people come from you know, another they take me to Nigeria. Everybody, this one now VI. What's it on the year? Them they talk. Oh, they go now they spend. They say oh, yeah, that VI people, people with this. Uh, but they go daddy spender. Ah, okay. You know, see those VI people. I love them, but <laughs> not with them. Go go go! I need for sure. You see all those my people. Those money spender people. <laughs> that that Odogu, nah, the spender. Odogu so now they spend the money. Under. Yes, you see me and get some of that. You be part of those people. You see, you see, we don't mind him again. Okay, yeah. let's go. <laughs> but anyways, we will talk about this song now. Ah. ODG, you know, <laughs> biggest song. One of the biggest Big, songs of twenty twenty two. Biggest, Mad biggest, big song, like biggest. very, very big. How did it make you feel when that song started blowing up? Because normally ah. that's not the dream of every artist, you know, to write song or to get song. Whether that ah. you write them or press write them for you, anyone, but ah. you know, it hits. So how did it ah. make you feel when the song begins? Ah, I cry. <laughs> oh, man, no lie. Over ten years now, mm. when they do this music thing. Yeah. And then, you know, say a guy you go hustle, 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 hustle. Mm. My bros, big shout out to Christmas Entertainment. My boss, they always tell me, say, Tomo, no worry. Go enter. Go Once we enter, <laughs> we go, go find pattern. Oh. Second, we go enter. Yeah. I say, okay, 
by God's grace. Now God the control grace. Mm -hmm. Now the, the the ODG song, you know the, the plan. The ODG they inside one EPR release okay, last year okay. titled Body of Work. Okay. And that when the song comes out, you know it comes like that the song the single mm. on your own. So I'm doing Wait, that the song will start to push. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. And for that EP, I'll be get likes of um praise, Niniola, you know, Revani. Um no, then uh, this guy the I even put self um uh, this other Dano Platinum artist back then. Okay. So um so that period I mean, if you say, oh, man, this EP when it blew like this, ah. Mm. But when ODG come out, God, they tell us, no worry, the, the kind blue, I, I plan for you. <laughs> yeah, People know, know, know saying that EP you drop. Yeah. You know, seen a single. So I feel saying that the features mm. will even do, feel even boom. Mm. Not the one where I do on my own. On your own. And that one, I come boom. And that one come boom. So my, my twin brother wake me up. On, that was, uh, we, we launched the EP for 12th of January okay. last year. And then... I think it was on the, I think it was on the 27th or so, 28th. Yeah, I think it was 27th or 28th. My team just tapped me for money, you see. Dude, because he knew the company. Mm. Now, dude, dude, <laughs> wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Come on, see on TikTok. We did TV, so in they use the F word where we're. Yeah. So, <laughs> dude, what the F is that? F, 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 I just said, talk, let me hear. <laughs> can you talk I, more calmly? You, you put on TikTok, now we can say, Overnight, at least in, when we started to push the music. In fact, when we even did the launching, I performed the song. It didn't enter people's body. Mm, the other up. song, what they do? Ah, they say, ah, this oh, boy they sing. Okay, wow. Can sing. In those three. Ah, nah. <laughs> my fans. <laughs> now nah, I understand. They play my fans. Now nah, nah, I just understand the music. Yeah, they play. <laughs> As in, they follow me and say, oh, oh. But when the song comes out, nobody, oh, oh. They do for you. <laughs> So I, mean, I just come, just I see twenty thousand videos. Wow! I said what? Just um, like that. I just the emotion. I just kneel down. I they pray to God. They thank God. Mm. Say ah, finally one song going to that. Because mm. my mind says, enter like this. Boom! Okay. My boss, I just call my boss. My boss said they don't wake you. Everybody don't know. Say we're having a management meeting. I say okay. Then mm. they do the remaining. God crowned the money. Right here. Amazing. And big shout out to Ghetto Kids. Mm, no, 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 yeah, those guys were. Because the song boom for Nigeria, boom for Africa. Yeah. But now them God use as it works hand in hand. Yeah. You understand? That my song God use take push them. Uh -huh. And the same that them God use take push the song. Yeah. Just fused together. I feel like um that um that's union was a predestined one mm -hmm. between uh, you know, i think I, I would say that i'm part of the genesis to how big they've gotten yes. right now ODG, and, that. and and that is that is a cap i'll be sorry a feather to your cap added to your cap say at least you get people like this away so lt you know contributes for their success as well yes I, 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 I believe that one thing that's important to um every creative not just musicians mm. is that you always say that prayer that God use me as a blessing for others. You don't necessarily have to be an artist. Yeah. So, but anything what they do, just use me as a blessing for. And I don't know how because now you they they orchestrate everything. You know, and you be the perfect architect, architecture. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. now you know who gonna need what That's from what anything what they do. Nice. So just use me as a blessing for others. And I do not let me just get the kids. Some some other TikTok influencers start to bloom. Yeah. Bloom from, from there. So I just felt contented seeing that seeing that it wasn't just about the song getting big it was also the fact that it actually impacted other people's life also amazing I'm, I'm grateful are they always they happy when i see people they do well and i can't realize say they no start to they do well overnight you know they don't they don't sow seed <laughs> and now they, they reap them. so let's talk again about the ghetto kids, kids. you know how was it like getting to talk to them the first time and getting them to because they be they, i don't know whether all of them they speak english it'd be like say get some well, of them they they speak english mm. all of them they are all you know they are, they are all well taught they are learned yeah and, uh the feeling was amazing okay. so first of all you know when the video went viral mm. uh, i was like Man, I like this. these guys have to be in this video. Yeah, I was, I was, so, I was very excited when I saw them in your video. As in, I was like, no, there's, there's no way they will not be in the video. Yeah. They have to be Akram and King are the 
to I think should I say the most popular? Yeah, um, of, kids the, from of all of them. The ghetto kids. So uh, we reached out to their manager. We had already built, you know, a good relationship, a good mm, rapport. Mm. The song was already doing well, so it was time for the video. And then uh, we we're like, we'd like you guys to fly down to Nigeria. They said, "What for real?" Oh. I said, "Yes, that's you know, <laughs> we sort everything. Just come down to Nigeria. Let's have fun." And uh, but the time frame was short because they were, I think it was like two days before they resumed school. Okay. So when they came to Nigeria, it was. I was just I just I just felt happy. Mm. I saw them and then we hugged, we related, <laughs> took them to the hotel. They know they chop pepper. Oh <laughs> so uh and now I know they know chop pepper. For Nigeria, and now I know say what will they chop stuff different. <laughs> Different. We give them fried rice. We jollof. No we go day. away. We pepper no day. They say it's too, it's too peppery. Yeah, yeah. Pepper is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. You know, you know they say when they carry pepper for bag. We want to eat. We are going to eat your pepper. Oh. So okay. I want the, I want the look say. Ah. So I feel like say for the classification of pepper, I did like. <laughs> you I be did, king. I be, I be beginner. No king for it. I be beginner. Beginner say I know. Because if I chop it, you go to say I did emotional. Okay. And I was tired by the reaction. <laughs> so they just we came down to Nigeria. We had fun. Yeah. We shot the video. We shout out to Max. Max shot the video. Mm. We shout out to Eternal Africa also, yeah. the producer. Now you do that jibi jibi jibi, now you voice that here. And um, we, you know, they just felt happy and they don't want to go out. Mm. They, they don't want to go back, go yeah, Ghana, yeah. you know. Yeah, and, forgive their room now. Ah, uh, no, it's the room's plenty for Nigeria. <laughs> they get family <laughs> now. So, now I just say, man, afterwards, we built a good relationship mm. and, you know, we give them the exclusive, you know, feel that whenever they, wherever they are, they can use the song. Maybe everything be money mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and all. Now, be part of this journey grow with this, this song also can always oh, use good. the song yeah. even for any performances that they go for if they feel yeah, they, they, they still perform big shout out to them they've been doing well mm. they performed at the um, british god talent yes now they perform at the calf awards also yes two I saw days that. ago also. so <laughs> man i'm just grateful yeah I'm grateful. amazing okay so what's your question about the carry cup like so we don't even talk about them before we reach this point but i'm going to ask you <laughs> You know, you come from family of entertainers. Mm -hmm. Some people, if you don't know, <laughs> some of you may not know, um, LT here is the son of Henrietta Kosoko of yeah. Blessed Memories. May God continue to rest her soul. Mm -hmm. It was really special, basically. Yes. She do plenty of work with us for WAP TV I was channel. about to say that because she carried me, she carried me come that place tire. <laughs> so she is family for life. Yeah. You know that kind of thing. So you grew up in a family of um, entertainers. Yes. Daddy Jide Kosoko as well. Yeah. So how you go take talk, say, them contribute to your career right now? Because my question be say, imagine say you know come from that kind set up that family do you think you would have still become and why not even act and say why you can't say music <laughs> not act so how did two actors as your parents contribute <laughs> to you being a musician you understand my question <laughs> i think i put my mama will first all give you an answer my mama will say <laughs> i was in the choir when i was younger so any more jack one music i'm like which 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 <laughs> My, actually, my family, uh, most of my uncles and my aunts uh, were in the choir. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the funny thing was, I didn't, I don't follow them sit down and talk to you, choir, choir, mm. choir, choir, because they don't even know the journey. Okay. They don't know the line where I go peak. Mm -hmm. So as my mother, they act, and my, my twin brother, they're very, very dramatic. So <laughs> it's a be funny past me, <laughs> if I pass me. So. I don't you see these two boys last in the acting then go mm. peak. So when I started to dance, my mama looked like I said, oh. my fans they play. <laughs> they were in the corner, I'd wait you. So he goes, they come back here. So when I started to do music, um, I first of all learned how to, you know, observe I uh, observed and I started asking questions on mm. how they actually handle criticism. Okay. How they handle constructive criticism also. Yeah. I did see how they, they relate and um, network. Uh, I see the way the the importance of uh, creative collaboration. Yeah. And then uh, from that, from the Yoruba industry, the um, was the Nollywood industry as a whole. So I call I call look at everybody like this. So I want to follow whiskey talk now. I want follow like the bunch talk now. Yeah, this year we take. <laughs> take. Follow them talk. So that period, though, that period, not them two face partition mm. boys. I just say okay. 
Now from there, I could ask my mama question, say, okay, you then talk like this outside now, which if you say be the best, yes, you know, how you think can do, you know, um, going out to certain events. Then the days when you know, they are, and they call you invite you, how you do? <laughs> <laughs> Very important question. Ah, trust me, that's part of it. So they, 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 they actually impacted my, you know, my, they impacted my career in mm. different ways, aside from the fact that they were supportive, you know, in whichever way they could. They also um, blessed me with knowledge on how best to, you know, carry myself in the industry. Mm. And I feel, say, now one of the advantages for, you know, having entertainers as Yes. parents mm. so I, even if i didn't have them i go still learn Abby. if you just say the hard way <laughs> <laughs> or the harder way all right so moving on maybe we talk about some of your songs breakfast yeah <laughs> <laughs> breakfast because where they draw the inspiration for your songs from actually this breakfast now she go talk see person savvy breakfast or is it just because yeah, yeah, the yeah, time yeah. you wrote the song breakfast are within the rain because even okay. now they put the breakfast left right Christmas period on the come, eh? You say you want <laughs> Christmas hair? You are a bad woman of the future. Breakfast sap. Ah, you your will let me stay on my own. Some people get to December. <laughs> that. That's why they happen. I say, why are you shouting at me in in, in Igbo language? We're done. We're over. Because the Christmas you, on the come, they will just blink twice at me. Eh? Why? It's over. Why are you tell smiling too much? Like <laughs> blink, blink at too much. Yeah. So tell yeah. us about the song Breakfast. What inspired it, and where do you get inspiration from your song for your songs from? Really? Most of most of the songs are different, depending on the situation we're at. Day. Mm. Uh, before breakfast, I actually had Lucy. Okay. Lucy remix with Miniola. Okay, amazing. And, uh, <laughs> the the Lucy was an experience with my ex. Yeah, and um, she nice Lucy did that. <laughs> and if people don't already hear this, <laughs> they don't hear this just. Oh. <laughs> But you go give me exclusive stuff. Uh, Wahala. <laughs> and uh, Luz, most of the songs, when I come up with them, it, sometimes I like to story tell. Mm. Sometimes I like it, they come from experience. Sometimes I just um, I just look at situation. Sometimes it trends also. Mm. So like breakfast, for example, we just, you know, ODG don't blow and everything. Yes. So they won't put pressure on top of my head. Mm, that kind and of thing. I make they always talk, have to. Make all the talk say, mm, but I know they... <laughs> <laughs> now the same normal way where they were do ODG, now so yes. I to calm down, still do every other song. So I call I did US when I call my producer Eternal, say, oh. no. you know, some way banana boy drop now, say, ah, everybody put your breakfast. Now you could have say, yes, that song is trending. You know, say, ah, Eternal, <laughs> in English, eh? Shout out to Eternal. Super cool, clap, click, 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 in English, plenty. <laughs> ah. God, Eddie, that, that you know, you know why they keep quiet. Right. Funny enough, it turned out my friend. Hey, friend, you I you know. You sabi. So I know what you they talk about. So, LT, <laughs> I say, I say, it turned out fun. I say, I'm good, bro. I say, um, so I had this song breakfast, and I had, I had the idea that mm. like if everybody's eating breakfast, do you share or do be the chop breakfast? <laughs> no, no. I say, I say, do be the chop breakfast now. He say, oh, I see what you're doing there. I say, ah, uh, yeah, he say, English. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Just keep saying, mm, amazing, amazing. <laughs> Give me some minutes. I'll do something. Tana is an amazing producer. In, yeah. In, in less than a few hours, he made something and sent it to me. Mm. I say, ah, what do you, what do you feel? But I was like, yo, this is it. And then I recorded <laughs> the first verse in US. I was traveling back to Nigeria the next day. And then I go to Nigeria, we, we finished the song. But we did not have the Odogu Nidichok breakfast. Fast, okay. It was that um, um, people should not... It had, it had more of like, you know, I did the chop breakfast mm, and all this That kind things. of a thing. So we were in the studio when I was like, what if we say Odogu Nidichok breakfast? Mm, that kind of thing. So yes, make the song come balanced. And I was like, oh, but you know you just released an Odogu song. I said, I don't care. Hey, Odogu now not come to chop breakfast. I say, I, I say, I don't care. He says, so... You, you don't chop breakfast. I said, which of them? Not the food or... Because <laughs> no, I have to ask it whether you don't ever chop breakfast before. Ah, but continue. Ah, that topic, I beg you. So, that equal. So, we, we tried um, a bunch of things. And then, you know, we came up with that. Akuruka as Pastor Mongai. She has that. Akuruka, we did. We gallant. So, I want to chop breakfast. If you want to break up with me, I'll buy you tomorrow's rice. So, sorry. It was, it was a thought. Uh, Ah, so you. Yes. Okay. So what? 
Come on now. Half safe is okay. Ah, too much. No, just buy me the tire. The tire? <laughs> just the tire. Two tires. No, 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 no. no. We have to start. With it. I'll give you the khaki first. <laughs> What the professor twenty twenty four? So okay. it was just it was just that, and uh, yeah. Afterwards, we just we came up with a concept that okay, if uh, if one is saying that not everybody could chop breakfast, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying that we do good with the chop breakfast. But like yeah. saying like you know the dance, the big, of course we never chop breakfast. But then none of us would be proud about that, you know. Come on, not yeah. everybody chops breakfast, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I've never chopped. Um, but, but you talk us. Yeah, okay. nev- 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 I- I- yes, like me now. But, I've, but, I've, but, never, I've never. I haven't. If I hear. <laughs> you don't first tell me already. You, know, say, mm, you make you don't go into that. So I don't say something they did. Anyways, let's go and enjoy that music video as well. If now my money, you go chop belly full. I know you're enjoying this interview this afternoon. I am. I enjoy myself from this month. I don't know, say LT funny like this. I think it's the only music and dance in they do. So, um, which artists do they look to collaborate with? You know, we be say, and if you want to collaborate with that artist, you go get any, you know, you go they look out for the fact, say, okay, this is supposed to be dance as well. Like, because you no. do a lot of dancing in your videos. Okay, yes, for the dance part, um, Usher. Okay. I would like work with Usher. Um, I would like work with. Uh, no, it's not really about the dance. It's just mm. the music. Yeah. And it depends on how I f- how we flow, and uh, I would like work with Whiskey most definitely. Uh, I would like work with Fireboy, on a song. Uh, I'd be very you know selective, mm. but if they say ah LT you get chance, I'll say yes. <laughs> collaborate with, with anybody. I will collaborate with almost everybody because yeah. a lot of. Amazing artists there outside mm-hmm, there. Yes. Mm-hmm. And the industry don't evolve way, way beyond um, what it used to be. Yes. And trust me, if I started to call names, you go if I will <laughs> for your wake up. But a lot of a lot of amazing artists like um, Black Bones, Raps, um, MI, yeah. and a lot a lot of a lot of amazing artists, rappers, singers. You know, and I would like to collaborate with most of them. Mm. I would like to work with Neo also. I'd be okay. a big fan of Neo. Yeah. And uh, if, if Rihanna allow, hey baby. Rihanna, Nick, hey baby. Scott, yeah, there. don't just go fight though, because I don't even know. Um, well, you know, uh, we gotta do we we'll, we'll, we'll sit down. We we'll, we we'll sit down and uh, you know, I commemorate, commemorate my. Okay. Over no, my takeover. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that was said. That was said. And you they forget one person where we say you don't turn to Nigerian, you know. Uh, that Chris, person, Brown. Chris Brown. Oh, I beg. Chris Brown. I need to. I need I'm to. Working with Chris Brown would be really amazing. Like you guys working, could do so well Chris together. Brown, working with Chris Brown is not just amazing. It's everything. I don't know how I even skipped that in the first place. <laughs> Um, I don't say you just because keep Usher, Usher is one person that's really much more than his yeah. music and his dance. Also, yeah. Chris Brown is the one person that he's creative. He's an amazing singer, dancer, dancer. and he was also one of the people that actually, you know, aside from Michael Jackson, Usher, genuine, he was also one of the people that actually um, made me understand more about dancing and singing. Yeah, together. The time Chris Brown came out with Run It. I I I I was intrigued by the type of dance he was doing, but it was mm. not like the same thing Osha was doing mm. or uh, the same thing uh, Michael Jackson was doing. Yeah. So later I found out about the style of dance called crumb. Mm. My R is bad, so make me laugh. My R. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's called. Okay, crumb. now that they call rice wise. <laughs> no, no, I didn't pronounce call, wise. Pronounce wise. Wise. Rice. Rice. <laughs> Bread. Bread. Okay. Yeah, not not that. I'm bad. using my chest. So, yeah. <laughs> So, okay. uh, Chris Brown is, um, there's a style of dance called crump, mm. and it's part of that, the style of dance I do yes, also, it's yes, called, yes. crump is a, a type of dance that was initially, you know, created to praise God. Mm. So it's called Kingdom Radically Uplifting Mighty Praise. Mm. Crump. I don't even know if you get it. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, well, I saw Chris Brown do it for the first time. I wanted to know about the type of dance, and then yeah. I found found out the dance. His name is Tight Eyes, and <laughs> um, Big Milo, Big Miho. And okay. afterwards, Crump is in Nigeria presently. We have mm. a Crump uh, mm-hmm. session here, and afterwards, I listen, you know, I like this guy singing, dancing, and we shout out to Chris Brown. He's, he's amazing. And now, you know, we shout out to Adi Chris Brown. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And I hear everybody, you give up. Yeah, the thing is that, and the thing is not Chibike, you know. Not Chibike. Chibike, Chris Brown. No, 
No, no, nah, ch- nah. Chibike Adi Brown. <laughs> Because the guy don't speak pigeon English. What's he not do for you, girl? I like tell it. you, <laughs> we don't blend them. What's finish. going on? Then if you do, don't don't carry and give her a barmaid shop. The food don't do. And if you don't have whiskey, actually, two of them are responsible. I'm just just blend food when you come. Sensational. <laughs> just chop up the food and say, oh, sensational, God. He's a worker. Yo, Dave, Dave, let's, let's, let's do something. Let's do something. He's I, I a say, worker. Oh, He's sensational. <laughs> Oh. Amazing. Okay, yeah. so let's talk about those dances that you do in your videos. Yeah. Are they self choreographed or do you have? Yeah, I have professional choreographers. I have, I have, a, I have a professional choreographers for my main choreographer. His name is Chidi Berry Stanley. Okay. Um, he has a brand called Sestan. All right. And um, he has been choreographing my, you know, choreographing me for over. I think past seven to eight years now. Wow. It's been with me way, 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 you know, You're back. way back. Yeah. And, um, so of now gotta blow together. They yeah, enjoy this. Yeah, yeah. Chidi, Chidi, Chidi has been the longest with me. Oh. And um, um, the female choreographer is um, Chizzy. Okay. Uh, we call her Chisom. Okay. No, we call her Chizzy, but her name is Chisom. Okay. She knows, she knows <laughs> like me, I call her name for uh, Chisom. Chisom Egu. <laughs> okay. So yeah. you grew up with Swain. Mother. Yes, yes. Not only that's when you get. No, I get. You get my, other I get other siblings. My will be four. Okay. Um, me, my twin brother. Uh, the person that I make a use of me. Hmm. Well, I, I, I'm PG. I. Me, not no my my twin and I. No, it's me, me and my twin. And my twin. <laughs> that are PG. <laughs> and uh, I have a younger brother, um, Moiwa, and then okay. our last born baby of the house, no, no, not so baby anymore, <laughs> Tim Lade. She's yeah. the, my younger brother's sister acting. My mm. twin brother is a sound engineer. Amazing. 90, 90 so, how was it like tweak. growing up with a twin? Like, Ona too? How was it? You don't already mention him um, very well for this story, interview. So I don't say Ona, they close very well. Now, even be better say if something <laughs> happened to you, you don't already know before you know. Ah, but how was it like growing up? It, it, the story long, bro. Uh, the story long. <laughs> I was. It wasn't. I wasn't as fortunate as everybody. Okay. But I was blessed to have mm. him. Um, and he he is blessed to have me. Abi. Yes. yes. <laughs> I said, I know the I got to tell you, you are blessed. <laughs> you are favored, in fact. And um, let him know. Exactly. <laughs> uh, and and it was it was just amazing. It was you know a lot of hardship. Mm. Um, Maybe one day I would really come out and say a lot about my story because there are a lot that's you know is beyond mm. what you're looking at. But uh, we thank God that we don't look like what we've been through. That kind of thing. You don't look at my soul. Yeah, nah, See, I don't if you want that person to say you've been through, they say they'll say they are ah, they'll say you are lying. You know that has been through me. Ah, <laughs> okay. you don't look like it at all. And ah, ah, ah. I'm grateful for yeah. that, and I feel like we're all grateful for that also because our true back. We know when they give our true back all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so um <laughs> it was amazing uh having the, the the advantage of having you know a train or uh, i think people that you know you share like you're born because yeah. sometimes it's not just about twins sometimes it's just having that one person you can talk to and he, he he was my pillar for every time things were hard so, mm. so and for every time things were shaky he was my reformation mm. like he was my living reformation he, okay, so, so and uh, it's uh, it's um, i feel honored to actually have him in my life mm. and uh it's, it's I'm, I'm at the same time i didn't vex so many times because <laughs> he didn't vex me well like, <laughs> very annoying <laughs> funny but annoying <laughs> And uh, my God. I think I think I, I don't think I would be as good as I am professionally dancing professionally mm. if he were, if he wasn't there to you know. Does he dance still? He was supposed. Yeah, he dances. He knows how to dance, but you know, we, certain things happen okay. in the past that is not allowing him dance. Him dance as much. And uh, there are things I wish we could do together mm. um, that we don't have the opportunity to do. Not like the opportunity, but we can't do. And. Mm. Uh, but I'm still grateful, you know. And if you still if, your person. So you always let me know say, you know, say I don't feel drum. But if you do I go do but pass you. So you better do it well. Yeah. That's the annoying That's part, it. I'm sure. So, ah, no, Why he, are you telling me you can do more than me? The annoying thing is he drills me. He's my he's, he's my biggest critic. Mm. You understand professionally. That guy too. You understand personally. Yeah. He's my biggest my biggest, biggest critic. So, so but I'm just grateful to have him. It's 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 a blessing. Amazing. Let's take another break. There is this fresh new song. Not 
<laughs> new as far yesterday or the before yeah. yesterday, but this is like the latest of yeah. our healthy stable and our power. So we don't reach that point, we're still going to wrap up this show small, small. Mm. So we'll quickly take some few interesting, a little personal, but not so personal questions. But before we take the personal questions, uh, make I still talk about one more song where I feel say yes, we're supposed to know about Sunakopenda that he did with Ghetto Kids. Mm. Amazing. Because in first, Feature them for in video, they can't dance now. They can't feature them back, okay. and they did the video in Uganda. Yeah, and all they just tell us everything else we're supposed to know about this song. I know say Nakupenda mean love, yeah. So to Nakupenda now, what do you mean? And how the song they come about, and when I get video for them, all yes, these kinds of things. Yeah, so they, I, I was in the US when, um, uh, what's his name, Dauda, their manager, yeah, called that. Oh, the kids said they actually have one. <laughs> I want to tell you something, and uh, then I listened. I heard them. They all screamed, "Tuna kupenda!" Yeah. I was like, "Tuna kupenda to you people too!" Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they they all laughing, and then I asked Dad. Dad, I was like, "Do you know what it means?" I said, "What?" He said, "It means we love you." Oh, I said, "Thank you very easy. much." I I felt good that morning. I felt like God just opened my eyes. I just smile. <laughs> And then they said that, um, "Can we do it like a song to you know, uh-huh. like us with you?" I said. Really, that's not a bad idea. No problem. Yeah. And then, at, um, if you have a vibe, just let me know. So they sang, they did the different chant and okay. sent it to me. I told them just chant something. Don't worry. They chanted it to Nakopenda, chanted other things. So, uh, and I was like, mm. I called. Uh, I actually have a co-writer. His name is Jason J. Okay. And then I was like, Oh, Jason, what's up? There's this song. I, I'm thinking the little kids want to feature me and all this thing. So there, eh, that's okay. We try to write. We I reached out to Iga Boy, my producer. Okay. We wrote the song. Okay. Boom. Um, we, the idea of um, the Udogu and the Spender is <laughs> one thing also. So we, they, they, they actually dance also and okay. about ghetto kids. So we had this um ah can you update I'm a ghetto kids and LT oh, and they feel nice. ah crap. If they do that, that's if they shake like saying nah earthquake. Maybe they there. That's young Bessie. Uh, <laughs> so it was just just all this vibe. And but then so initially it was ah, but the pot, but the kitty kitty. Okay, okay, okay. So it was something okay. that they, they, they chanted just chanted and, and sang. So music is beautiful. And that, that, that creative <laughs> process was very very interesting. And uh, reaching out to Iga Boy, you know, he came through. We did the song. Um, we called them. They did a chant. And oh, you hear this song, you hear this how I dance to Nakopenda. Yeah. Love me, JJ, love me, tender. Ah, Talk yeah, your yeah, ass yeah, and make yeah. us sing money because oh. you don't know how to spend that. Ah. Uh, it was interesting. And the song with that. And the song with that, to Nakopenda. Yeah. And then we reached out to Clarence, <laughs> reached out to Clarence Peters. He said, Oh, we could shoot in Uganda. So we flew down to Uganda with Clarence and his team. And then we shot the video in the I know this song, and I'm, I've been being that since I don't even know the song, but I just know that. Yes, there's a song like that. But I know the song where, where. That's because people always, they, they, they feel my sound, is, I sound more South yeah, African. Yeah, some people actually feel like you're not Nigerian. No, no, I think I my makeup artist lot. said it, like, I, she, I get, she I, thought I, you were not in Nigerian. I, I, get, I, get, I get that a lot. So here's one thing. I, the last encounter about this subject was uh, last week here. Okay. I was in um, Zenith Bank mm. and I sat down and then the lady was just staring at me. <laughs> I, I waved at her like yeah. Show everything. she did not wave back. <laughs> she just looking. Like, Are you not looking at me? <laughs> I said, which guy will I be this? So at some point I felt, so the manager came to talk to me and then we actually um, completed the transaction and, mm. then, and then I was about leaving. She, she was standing by the stairs. I was about leaving. <laughs> I'm like, hi, hello. <laughs> She's like, oh, hi. <laughs> I said, okay. She, I think she was just mute after I was, and then I was, I left. Mm. As I was walking down, she just said, excuse me, excuse me. Like, uh, you have to excuse, right? I was like, ah, yes, I am. So <laughs> I like, have his brother. <laughs> I said, because you've been staring at me since. She just said, yeah, I have a question. Uh, yeah, so I heard you speak pigeon, and I was hearing you speak pigeon. I was like, I don't understand. You're like, yeah, it's pigeon. I felt like I knew where it was going. <laughs> and then the next thing she was like, are you? I said, yes, I'm Nigerian. No. <laughs> so you're not singing and dancing. What do you like to do in your spare time? Which thing do you switch to do? Games, movies, uh, uh, they're, they're lost. sleep? What okay. do you like to do? First of all, um, I have a, uh, another business called 
is a photography business. Uh, I'm a photographer. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So yes, yes, yes. Can you believe that? I'm quoting the two so that you before me. Pictures. Yeah, yeah. I'm just coming out about this. Oh, yeah, like people do not know yeah. that you do photography. They don't. They oh. don't. They don't. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. So it's like a side job. It is. I'll do. I'll, I'll give you a full lowdown about it. Oh, yeah, what's going on? All right. So photography saved me. Okay. Um, 2017. I was in a very rough part, yeah. and a lot of people just knew that. Oh, I, at that time, I'd released about five, four videos. No, I'd released about six music videos oh. then, and I, my my song was doing well. I had, I had a song that would repeat in the in early 2017, and it was a year after my mom passed on. Yeah. So, people, you know, were really enjoying my sound and everything, but. We, we really hit at the end of 2017 after shooting the song legal yeah. we shot the music video we could not promote it mm. and financially things went south and it didn't just go south financially it went south in every other in the worst ways ever as i went i was really low mm. and 2018 it was so bad that i almost took my life i was that depressed i can remember there was a time i was in the bus i mean we sold the car sold Almost everything I had, so generator, and it was so bad that I was not able to feed myself, take care of myself, take care of anybody around me. So, and um, I, I'm not the kind of person who likes to rely on people, mm. and I don't really have so much. I'm a very, very, I'm an indoor person. Yeah. So, I felt like everything was not going to work again. Mm. Initially, I had hope, but then when I saw myself entering public transport. <laughs> and hoping that, um, thinking that maybe if I do not have the money for the public transport, I have to trek down mm. to the place. So I didn't think Sad I was going to come back to that coming. that low again. I I think God was actually saying certain things to me, but I was not listening. Yeah. And 2018, I literally almost made that decision. Trust me, it's not worth it though. Mm. I I I was that depressed. I barely made twenty thousand there. Mm. I'm not even capping at all in 2018. It was that bad. And people that knew me did not care. Mm. I mean, I, I was holding gadgets to just you know, to just try and make ends meet. 2019, uh, that was in 20 years, December 2018, I made a decision that, you know, I have to do something else. Mm. And that's, that's why it hits me that just forget about the music all the hope about the music had already gone yeah so just try and start over that's something and there's else. nothing wrong i learned to understand that there's nothing wrong in starting over and also there's nothing wrong in when things are south having something else mm. so i started learning photography i love the idea of snapping pictures i used to edit play around pictures so i was yeah. like this is something i love to do so i picked up photography and i started you know learning how to snap i went to school my church did program I went for the diploma three days a day. Uh, big shout out to GD Pounds, he put me through. Uh, big shout out to Beauty Baobas also, she put me through. And um, she was doing, doing, my, doing my strength. My twin brother was supportive also. And all. And after like after like seven months, badass photographer. <laughs> <Story. Yeah. laughs> I mean, this is such a beautiful story, though, yeah. because most of the time, you know, people go down and reach that lowest part of their life, we yeah. say they won't give up, but they, they always talk and say, it gets ugly before it gets beautiful, because just look at you today. Who go remember, say, it gets time when they enter bus? Mm. It gets ugly. Before it gets beautiful. If you can be pretty. <laughs> then later it might be pretty ugly. <laughs> It's yeah, true, it's, it's true. true. Yeah, there are stages, it's true. So, that was same day. <laughs> uh, so please, make sure to say, the thing is, I, I learned certain things, mm. to be very honest with you. After things started to pan out back, I started to see patterns, patterns that I never really saw before. Yeah. I was just living this, oh, ah, every day, you know, we enter a club, yeah, this, at the club died before. That time. Uh, <laughs> but I started to see the more important things, how, to, you know, and in the process, I started to become um, financially literate also. Exactly. It's, now, what do they always do to people be that? You can't uh, begin to count your money one um, at a time. You see that hunger, they go hit you. They <laughs> discover new talent. <laughs> ah. 
Omot. Igo to dak. Igo to pese de sempo. Hey. I saw this bank of finance. That day I no see. Yes. Ah. That's the thought of the who said does it give me a you will blow you me. You don't go, you don't go. Ah, no. <laughs> By God's grace. You don't pray for that for, any, for anybody. That's all, that's all. Grace, yeah, so on the well, side. The yeah, on the side, you do photography. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, Advice crazy. to the people watching at home. Young people who want to be like LT someday. What do you get to tell them about how ah. they will maneuver? <laughs> first thing first, it's always important to say this. God first. Mm -hmm. God over everything. Any, any, Thing. Not just not just everything, everything and anything. God first, <laughs> very important. Secondly, um, believe in your craft enough. The, the, the importance of you believing in yourself is key. Don't let your um, don't let don't let your growth be dependable on other things or other people. Mm. So believe in yourself enough that even if you don't have all the necessary um, resources, whatever it is that you have. Believe that God is going to do it for you also. Yeah. Then um, understand that collaboration is very is very important, especially creative collaboration. It's very important. I've been um, I've been clamoring it out. Um, if you cannot do it by yourself, and as much as you believe in yourself, when you have the access or the ability to actually put somebody in, don't let your pride hold you. Do mm. you understand? And don't look for the best. Look for whatever it is that works for you. While you are still looking for the best, though, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. When you're looking for the best, look for what works also. Because sometimes what you need might be in front of you while you're looking for something that you feel is best for you. Mm. You understand? Not everything we would like now is good for us sometimes. That's true. You understand? So it's important. Okay, pray. Um, family is important also. Believe in yourself enough. Don't, don't be scared to collaborate and keep putting our works. Okay, but understand also you still need money to do promo. Mm. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was our final advice from Odogu Daddy Spender. Say you must spend. No yes, worry. So. But God will provide for you. Thank you once again. Thanks for having Thank me. Thank you, my lovely people, for watching. We would be signing out with this beautiful one from LT Skills and the Ghetto Kids. You know that they are video with it too, because true, true, make just even. Dance to Naku Penda, yes, eh? me will enjoy them. Um, I want to enjoy that video with you guys. Thank you for watching the Beat Zone today. Uh, until I see you again next time, God bless you. Keep watching WAP TV. Keep supporting LT Skills. And he is a Nigerian, no. So support your own. <laughs> bye, guys. See you. Tell them bye bye. Bye, guys. Love you. <laughs>